What's up guys? Welcome to Hawk Talk with Saiyan. And today's segment we're going to be talking about a lot of awards, a fundraiser. Um, we're going to be talking about a little bit about a roster moves since Jimmy Graham's injury. And let's get straight to it guys. So first I'm going to go through last week or this week's awards which weekly awards from nfl.com seattle seahawks quarterback russell wilson our wide receiver doug baldwin and running back thomas rawls are all up for weekly honors at nfl.com so russell wilson is up for air player of the week doug baldwin has been nominated for clutch performer of the week which he is very very clutch thomas rawls is slated for rookie of the week after the trio's performance for, from this past Sunday's 39-30 win over the Pittsburgh Steelers at CenturyLink Field. So yeah, they had a huge games, guys. The trio had a huge game all together. And let's not forget about that defense. I don't think the defense got nominated for anything, but it's okay. Last week, I believe they did. Alright, so next, what we got is Earl Thomas. So Earl Thomas, he had his Guardian Angel Foundation through Stakes and Seahawks event, and he raised more than $155,000 free safety Earl Thomas. He hosted 175 guests at Bellevue Restaurant on Monday for his second annual Stakes and Seahawks event at a gathering that helped raise funds for children and families in need. The Seahawks free safety was joined by nearly 20 of his teammates who came out to support Thomas's Guardian Angel Foundation. With Thomas recently revealing he was diagnosed with ADHD while attending the University of Texas or UT Austin, this year's event featured a more personal touch as Thomas said he hopes to help kids in Seattle and his hometown Orange, Texas who are facing similar disorders. Now, guys, if you don't already know, I'm from Texas. Another reason why I love Earl Thomas the most out of every other Seahawk is that he went to University of Texas at Austin. That's my favorite college. Unfortunately, I can't go. I cannot afford it. I did not have the grace to go. Uh, I'm one of those students that uh, messed up earlier on. Not really messed up. I just got too many absences. I lost credit in a couple classes. If not, I probably would have been there right now. But... You know, stuff happens, and I'm I'm glad I'm able to stay with my family, my girlfriend, and whatnot, and I'm having fun here. So let's uh, that well a little background story to me, but I love Earl Thomas for that, and him raising this money for ADHD is a lot of help, and that shows how much the Seahawks or Seahawks players care about not just themselves but about just children in general for Seattle and for his hometown in Orange, Texas. So along with that, of course, we're going to talk about a little bit of the Jimmy Graham injury. First, we're going to go through the whole signing and releasing process. So because Jimmy Graham got hurt, Chase, Chase Kaufman, the tight end, he used to be with the Titans, he got signed. We waived Drew Nowak. So, because of Jimmy Graham, we signed Chase Kaufman. He's 6'6", 244 pound, tight end. He played with Tennessee this season. And he got released in October. So, we made room for the 53-man roster by releasing Drew Nowak. And it's okay because Pierre's been playing a lot better. Okay, so some other roster moves. Of course, we released Nowak, signed Chase Kaufman. We also released defensive end uh Correct me if I pronounce this wrong, but Julius Wormsley from the practice squad, and we signed wide receiver Desh Deshaun Fox and DT Justin Hamilton from the pack practice squad to so the team announced e two days ago, I believe. Yeah, two days ago. Okay, so this week, Russell Wilson earned player of the week. Seahawks quarterback Russ Wilson has earned has been named Offensive Player of the Week in the NFC for his regular season career high 345 passing and career high five touchdown passes in the team's 39 to 30 win in Week 12 over the Pittsburgh Steelers. Remember, he played this game with an illness, and on his 27th birthday, he completed 21 of 30 throws, 70 percent. For a 147.9 quarterback rating, the second best of his four-year career. He became the first person to throw 
for five touchdowns on his birthday since Warren Moon in 1990, and those five touchdowns tied a franchise record set by Warren Moon, Dave Craig, and Matt Hasselbeck. You know, that old guy that's with the Colts right now who's doing real good? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, I, I know who he is, just for y'all wondering. It was the 20th time in Wilson's career where he threw multiple touchdowns without interception in the game, and most by any player in his four, first four NFL seasons since the 1970 merger. So that's crazy, you know. Russell Wilson played lights out last week against Steelers. Let's hope he can play lights out against the Vikings because they have a pretty good defense, and those short passes are not going to work against them. So along with Russell Wilson's Player of the Week, he, got, uh, he earned the award. Richard Sherman was nominated for Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. So every team gets a nominee. Richard Sherman was the Seahawks Man of the Year. And Doug Baldwin, I believe, won last year's. And Russell Wilson might have won the year before. I know a good amount of people have won from the Seahawks. Or at least oh, have won at least one. One of them had won at least one. I think who won last year? Um, It was Pat Tillman? No, Pat Tillman. He's dead. Um, rest in peace. I didn't mean to say, uh, Pat, T- his, his name's Tillman, Charles Tillman, there you go, my bad. <laughs> I think Charles Tillman won last year, or so, I know someone else won last year, it was a defensive player. Anyways, got off track. Okay, so, we're gonna go a little bit more into Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham, he just got surgery yesterday, Wednesday, for his torn patellar tendon. Pete Carroll expects the Seahawks to have Jimmy ready for 2016, or at least he really hopes everything goes well and he is ready. So, you know, God willing, Jimmy Graham is back and better than ever from his injury. Like I said, Victor Cruz suffered the same injury and he's still out. He did re-injure it, though, in the process of healing. So hopefully Jimmy Graham goes through the most healthy healing process there is and the quickest, most fast healing process there is because we need him back for next year and for the future of the Seattle Seahawks guys okay our final topic guys help Cam Chancellor get to the 2016 Pro Bowl go vote now go vote for Cam Chancellor come on guys Cam Chancellor deserves it even if for you know for some reason they don't make it I mean, they don't get to go to the Pro Bowl because they make it to the Super Bowl. Wink, wink. Um, just nominate them because they they still get the honor of you know being named into the Pro Bowl, and a lot of players really like that because that means they're the cream of the crop, the best there is in the NFL. So the ballot is open, guys. Go ahead and go vote for Cam Chancellor and any other Seahawks you want. So yeah, guys. Tomorrow on Hawk Talk with Jersey Sand, we're gonna be going. I think it's gonna be tomorrow. Or Saturday, I'll let you guys know. But um, you'll find out in tomorrow's video or Saturday's video. We're gonna go through a game plan. What I think would work against the Minnesota Vikings, because I've been um, really watching what they do, their tendencies, and a couple things that stand out to me. And a couple of their injuries are gonna help us out a lot with our offense, the way we play. So we'll talk a lot, a little bit more about the injuries tomorrow, maybe the game plan Saturday, or it'll probably be tomorrow. I'm thinking tomorrow just to kind of savor up Saturday, maybe to get the last couple preparation in for uh, Sunday's hopeful victory. So yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have an amazing blessed day, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next segment. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.